Hello, thank you for coming to the tutorial for a paper hippopotamus for September 30th Hippo Goes Berserk. So for this tutorial, you'll need some a purple piece of construction paper. Um, you'll need a red piece of scrap paper, some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can use just regular white paper and color the little pupils in. And some white paper, it doesn't have to be thick at all, maybe just some computer paper. Some scissors and some stick glue. So the first thing that we do is we take our construction paper and we fold it in half and we draw this kind of shape. So it looks kind of like like a, a jar of some sort. It has like a big bell bottom here with two pretty straight sides. So you see how I folded it right here and the straight sides I cut from here. So we want this to open like this with the fat part opening up like that. This is going to be his head. So you can see I tried to chew it a little bit down on the other side. It's not perfect. You just take a couple tries and just just want to get this general general shape that you can cut out of regular construction paper. So once you've folded this and cut this out, remember you want to cut it so that, that it folds right here on the straight side. We're going to take our stick glue and you're going to fold this back right about where it gets to the straight part and we're going to crease it and then we're going to put glue. We're going to put glue on this whole straight part here. Only the straight part because we want it to open. We only want it to open like this. See? So the straight part here kind of becomes like where his eyes and his ears are. So you can actually go ahead and put his eyes on there. But we can come back and do his ears a little bit later. If you keep some scrap paper from when you did his, the rest of his head, then you can do the ears later. But first we will open this up. So now this is the inside of his mouth. So now we need to add some teeth and maybe a tongue. So I'm gonna cut out the tongue first. I'm gonna take a piece of red paper. I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it a little bit here. Not gonna be exact. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna slide it up to here. And I'm gonna see about, maybe trace a, you just wanna do the inside of his, his mouth. Not very big. And I don't know if that's gonna be big enough. So let's cut a little bit bigger around it and we'll see. Let's maybe cut even farther around than that. Let's do it like that and see what this looks like. Okay, so it's a little bit, a little bit too uneven over here. We'll just even it out kind of like that. There we go. So that's his tongue. Great. So now we want to glue this down. Okay. And then we get to his teeth. So glue his tongue right down in the middle and now we get to his teeth so the easiest way to do his teeth would be to take your piece of paper and fold it and we can actually we don't really even need this whole thing so I'm gonna rip part of it off so we're gonna just keep folding it maybe a few times here we just want to get a few teeth Maybe do a, do one long like this and do some other small and just, well actually they all can be long because what we're going to do is just cut them all up anyway. So you want to cut off the ends. So we're going to do smaller teeth. So we're just going to cut, you're just cutting them off of the, uh, of the folded end. So they're all individual little teeth. You like that. But then you want to make two big teeth that stick out. So we probably have enough teeth here, but we'll just try to make some more just in case. I think we've got plenty of teeth. So once you've got all your teeth, you wanna go ahead and glue your teeth on. So my, I'm gonna start with my big teeth. I'm gonna put some glue. See how these teeth are a lot longer and bigger than the other ones? These are gonna be his big teeth that are gonna stick out. So we're gonna put them on the very top right here. So when you close your face, you see his, his teeth right here. We're gonna open this 
And now we're gonna glue all on the outside of the top and the bottom, we're gonna glue all the rest of his teeth. Make sure you get plenty of glue there. I've glued it to the table here. And then you start putting in his teeth. And they don't have to be perfect, they can be crooked, they can stick out a little bit. We're just giving the hippopotamus his other teeth. They can be square, they can be rectangle. We're just trying to fill in all this spot here where all of his teeth go. And they can overlap his tongue a little bit, that's okay. We just wanna go all the way around his mouth and get his little teeth. There we go, a couple more hippo teeth. There we go. Now you see, now you have the inside of your hippo. He has all his teeth. Okay. You wanna make sure that you don't close it all the way. You don't wanna glue it on itself just yet. Or at all. Actually, you don't wanna glue it on itself at all. So then I'm gonna make some hippopotamus ears. These are gonna be his little ears that are sticking here. See, I folded my scrap paper, so I only have to cut once and that makes two ears. So we can put some glue on here, stick them behind here. There's one, glue there, stick it behind there. There's two. If you want, you could take some red piece of scrap paper and put a little red inside because they have kind of pink or red inside their ears. You can do that. Otherwise, take your marker and make some little nostrils up here. And there you have it. There is a paper hippopotamus. You can open his mouth and see all of his teeth. And then you can make his ears a little bit smaller if you want. I made mine kind of big, but that's okay. You can make him however big you want. So we got a hippopotamus that opens his mouth with his big old teeth and you can see inside of it. And actually, once it dries, if you want to, you can act, you can write a little uh, a little message or something, and use this as a greeting card for somebody's birthday or a, as a thank you note. So you can use it like that, or you can put a magnet on the back and put it on the fridge, or it can just hang out in your room, however you'd like it. So there you go. There's your little paper hippopotamus.